What's up guys, it's Ryan from Tweak My Device. I have with me here this Droid Charge. Um, this is running EE4. I did the Voodoo lag fix. Um, it's rooted of course. But uh, it's been having some problems. There's been a lot of force closes with the text messaging. Uh, there's been lots of freeze ups, requiring reboots. Just a bunch of junk going on. So if you're having problems with yours, I'm going to show you how to restore it back to a factory firmware using Odin. It's pretty simple. You're going to need to download two files. Check the description below this video for links to those two files. So we want to give a shout out to XDA member I'm Nuts. He posted this, the info on how to do it and the files to download right here at the bottom. So the first one you need is the PIT file. You definitely need that. That's the partition information table. It kind of tells everything else how to flash and where to flash. Then choose one of these builds. I'm choosing the EE4. So just download one of these four. Here's the EE4 file that we downloaded and the PIT file. This EE4 file is a 7-zip format, so we're going to need to right-click and open that with WinRAR. And I'm just going to grab that and extract it right out. Now that that's extracted, I'll delete the 7-zip file. And I'll paste in that MD5. Now let's open Odin. I'm going to right-click on that, run as administrator. I'm on Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. We want to check PDA and select that PDA file that we just extracted. There it is, the EE4. Got that one, and we're going to also select the PIT file. There it is, same folder. Now we'll put the charge into download mode, so with it off, Remove the battery, and while holding the volume down, we'll plug in the USB cable. And continue holding down. Just continue holding down. So I just had a message down there that my drivers installed correctly and you can see the yellow COM box on Odin indicating that there's a connection. So once you have this, just go ahead and pop the battery back in there. So we're connected, we've selected our files, and Odin has a connection with our charge. Make sure you have repartition checked, and uncheck auto reboot, and uncheck F reset time. Once all these conditions are met, go ahead and click Start. Just be patient and let your phone and Odin complete the process. Do not unplug. Looks like we're finished. That took about uh, five minutes. We've got the green pass message up there. And if you look here, in the message box, um, all threads completed, we have no error messages, nothing failed. And when we check the device, you see download completed. At this time, go ahead and remove the battery. And we'll unplug the USB cable. Then you can replace the battery. and power up your charge. You'll have a few scripts that pop up and then it should boot up normally. 
That first boot took a while because it was a complete system restore, but now you're good to go. You have a complete restore for whatever system file you chose. You can now return your phone for warranty, sell it because all of the information should be wiped out, or just start fresh with new tweaks and mods. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys, and subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.